Ah, right, so honestly, bro, this is kind of old, right? But I didn't have like time to get into it before. Um, so sack 2 k on Twitter said, right? For mv 2 k 22 in the My Player Builder, there should be an option to show your stats on your build when it hits 99 with a plus four to all, to all categories, and it should also inform you which which animation your build can and can now unlock, right? And like, um, I didn't think this was even a fucking thing that should be um done or anything. I have never I have never even thought of this, right? Um, but he's not wrong though, cause like, um, I made a build, I think it was like, in 2k20, right? I made a build, it was like my first build ever, right? And, the defense was atrocious, so like, just because of how bad the defense was, it wasn't really viable, like, um, I could win games with him and shit, cause I could shoot from the fucking logo and stuff, and I could, I like, actually dribble, right? Like, so like, I was only good at dribbling and shooting, and that guy had to like, finesse in the fucking paint, like, doing hopses and stuff like that, right? And um, you just step. But anyways, um, that's besides the point. Um, I made it, thinking like when I had, like ninety something with the plus four attributes, I'll be able to unlock some um, dunking animations or layer packages. So, right, and that wasn't the case. That was not the case. But I could not unlock shit. Right, even when I hit it, I couldn't unlock. I couldn't buy it. So that was annoying, right? Um, because I was planning to get like some poster. Uh, some poster animation, right? And um, I could only get them when I was like a 95 and higher, right? That's why I made it thinking of, but I couldn't get it because um, it didn't let me unlock it anyway, so that was fucking trash, right? On top of that, I was trying to get the Yamal Crawford um, layer package and I couldn't get it either because it wasn't like that high enough. I only need like one or two more um, attributes, right? So, um, with that being said, right? I feel like this is something that should be in the my player build because like I made my player based around that, right? And my and it was still viable throughout the year because it was a shot career, right? Like I could dribble. I had like 90 something um ball hand on like 99 three pointers, so like he was viable, right? But I just couldn't defend nobody, bro. Like I got blown by like 24 seven, right? Like if I if I was able to stop you, you you, you were just ass, bro. Honestly, but. Besides that, right, I couldn't get the fucking um, slashing animations that I was hoping to get when I was like 96, 97, so, um, if I had that information, like the plus 4 in every category when I hit like the 99, and it tells me what, um, animations I actually unlocked, I probably would not have made it. I probably would not have made it, or I would have made it like differently so I could get those actual animations, right? But... I ended up making like a small forward, bro. So I guess that's something I played with that like all year, right? And that's what forward could do everything, bro. That I like, I could play point guard, shooting guard. I could go from all the way from the one to the fifth, bro. I could play all five positions with that small forward, bro. Um, but anyways, though, right? Back to the fucking point that we were talking about, bro. I never thought about this, but uh, this is actually a pretty good idea, bro. It's actually a really fucking good idea, bro. Like, 2K probably won't do this because making mistakes is what makes the money, right? Like, you make a mistake, you put, spend all your money to level up your character, right? And then you you know that the fucking character is fucking ass. So you gotta, like, remake a whole new one and spend your money again, right? And that's, like, double the money for 2K. So, like, knowing how greedy them fucking bitches are, they're not gonna do that shit, bro. Right? But... Anyways, though, with that being said, um, this is something that will actually help a lot of us, bro. Because I know, like, most people, they'll be going for, like, YouTubers and shit to, like, um, make the bills. And honestly, bro, you can, you cannot fucking, um, rely on that, bro. Because this YouTuber is making a fucking best build video every other day, bro. Like, how the fuck do you make a better build every day, bro? Like, if it's the best build from the get-go, then it should be the best fucking build from the get-go, bro. Like, I know patches change it around sometimes, but, like, it is not that fucking drastic, bro. They'll be, like, best build for this, best build for that. Every fucking day, that's the new best build in the game, but, like... So, they don't care about y'all, bro. They just care about the fucking views, bro, that ass. But, um, like I was saying, though, this will help a lot of people out, bro, because, like, you will know exactly exactly how to make your fucking characters like for me 
Every year, I make sure my player has at least an 85 three-pointer and an 85 ball handler, bro. At least in the bare minimum, 85. That way, no matter how much the fucking fuck I run with the sliders, I can still be viable, right? So, um, with that being said, though, that's pretty much all I got for y'all today, bro. Like, probably not this year or next year. But I hope they um eventually implement this shit because this shit but will be really fucking useful for everybody, bro. And um, that's pretty much all I got for y'all today, bro. Like and subscribe, bro. All the news I got, I'll put it right here. So you know that I go fucking looking for everywhere, bro. Um, on top of that, I should have another fucking video coming out tomorrow, bro. So stay tuned for that. That's all I got, though. Peace.